answer to that question is yes, we are planning on that. Um, we we're very pleased with how it all turned out. We got a lot of positive feedback uh, uh, from, from the whole event for the, for the battle arms. Actually, I was talking to Chronosphere earlier tonight at the table, and he brought up something really cool that uh, Storm Grenadier is doing, which is uh, they're doing their own movie oh. stuff. And, uh, <laughs> It's going to have a lot of uh, dialogue and you know, action, of course. And it's actually something we're considering doing as well. I think that's a fantastic idea. One of the things we'd like to do, and you may have noticed this with the patch before the Battle Islands, is there's also, also the, uh, the uh, different empire sent out information about how the, uh, basically the Max Bus came about and what people care about. Some guys got it in, some of the guys sold it, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so the idea is going forward, we really want to try to weed a story in the planet side. So it's not just, you know, here's your battle islands, you know, go ahead and play them. Instead, it's going to be, well, wow, you know, why am I here, and what happened to Araxis, and, and what's going on in the universe, and, and what's coming next. And you know, we kind of uh, want to kind of surprise you guys going along, along the road, down the road. And the other question, uh, Really the same thing, but with the new map that's been brought into it. I like the look of it, but as a CR5, it's very hard for me to tell looking right at it. It's like, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> so it's, so I, I don't know a specific what to do, but something with like how you can visualize like who controls what in a quick way. And I don't know if there's maybe like, well, you can do like a secondary map or something like that, but um, something like that would be kind of cool. Um, so can you describe to me a little bit more what you mean by uh, who controls what? Well, like on the older maps, it was very. I, when I brought up the map, it was real clear what what continents we had locked, what continents were you know under you know under attack, and I you know I could see it without really even thinking about it. Now it's like I kind of have to look around, and I it's. I mean, it may just be a matter of just getting used to the new map style, but it's. I feel like it's a lot of times it's kind of hard for me to really just see obviously which ones are in control. Like one thing I've been thinking about is like. The planets on the map would be nice if maybe there was some like indicator to say that planet's under somebody's control. So you could just look at the star map and say, okay, that planet's purple, so it's under control, or have like a halo around it or something, so you could tell. Uh -huh. So um, talk to hey you man, did it? It's actually pump. So the answer to that is, uh, I'm sorry to hear that you're having trouble with it, and you should definitely post your, your feedback on the uh, forum so that we can take a look at it. And I, I know I've seen some threads, you know, kind of saying the same thing that you said. Um, <clears throat> specifically regarding which continents or, excuse me, which worlds are uh, empire locked, if you look at the, the panes, if it's empire locked, it'll have uh, the color of the empire on the outer edge of the pane showing that it's, that it's locked. So in that case, it might be, yeah, you just need to get a little bit more familiar with the map. But you know, we're very interested in feedback. We want to make things obvious. It shouldn't be hard for someone to you know, look at the map and figure out what's going on. If that's the case, then we need to change it. So definitely, please put your, your feedback up there. Oh, Okay, anybody else have any questions? How about some hard questions? <laughs> anybody? All right. Um, I guess this is sort of an hard thing. Um, you guys have, uh, uh, in some of the uh, the posts we got from like the TR command and the NC you know, command, um, you, you guys hinted at orbital station stuff, and I was wondering whether that stuff is uh, going to be in game anytime soon, um, or, or what, if it's going to have any kind of cool function along with it, or whether it's just kind of part of the story. That's kind of the answer. This yes. That's all. Okay, actually, uh, I don't think I was around when the orbital station was first created. Can you, can you uh, fill everybody in on what the original intent of it was? And well, the original intent was for people with the, the orbital strikes, I mean, not orbital strikes, sanctuary strikes, was uh, when your sanctuary is under siege, that's where you would spawn. You know, and then you could drop from anywhere. You could drop anywhere from the orbital station. Um, 
you know, that went by the wayside for whatever reasons I forget uh, now. But, uh, of course, everybody knows that you still harbor all the heart on your, your hard drive, which we appreciate. Thank you. <laughs> 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 it's on my folders. folders. <laughs> uh, it's there, and um, it's got it's got plenty of stuff in there for, like, uh, you know, it's got order terminals, and it's got its own little heart station, and it's got pretty much everything the sanctuary has. Mm -hmm. So as soon as we get the, you know, I don't know. I think the sanctuary was because it's really cool if you're the team that's doing the attacking and taking the sanctuary. It seems really unfair and hard to get it back if you're the other team. Yeah. And we couldn't figure out a way to make that more fair without making it overly fair. So that balance wasn't there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, Electro Freak, I have a question for you, actually, which is, um, are you a fan of Sanctuary Strikes, or are you not a fan of that? Well, uh, I actually just kind of like the idea of the orbital station. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I actually had an idea along the lines of, because, uh, you know, there's everybody complained about CR5 global spam, and everybody's talking about how CR5 needs to be more, you know, commanders. And I was thinking maybe uh, you can only global broadcast from the... Um, from that location or something along that line. Or perhaps um, a CR5 who's up there um, will have uh, you know, some kind of bonus, maybe some kind of advanced ability or whatever. Uh, that was really the only thinking in my mind. And I, you know, I've always just wanted to fly up there and walk around up in the station. <laughs> but uh, sanctuary strikes, I don't know. Uh, seems kind of cool, but you know, again, it could be really kind of pain in the butt for, uh, you know, the opposing sides. So. Yeah, I think my biggest problem was uh, people logging in and being under, under siege, you know, spawning in the sanctuary. Like, oh no, what happened? And then you end up in the orbital station and you have no idea what went on. So, uh, until we can come up with some answers for that, it probably won't happen. Or it'll happen in a different function and I have enough functionality as opposed to trying to work uh, sanctuary on the strike. Well, I uh, look forward to Hopefully the date when you guys uh, put them back in. Mm -hmm. I just need to show of hands from everybody and uh, see who thinks Sanctuary Strikes went cool in some form. That's pretty much everybody. <laughs> 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 well, like some, some sort of like end game at least, where it's like, you know, it's, I mean, I, a lot of times it's like somebody's taking over the whole planet, you know, and then you have to fight away, and that's, you know, kind of cool. But it's like, you know, a lot of times it's just like, all right, we're taking a bunch of continents, but you're not really going anywhere necessarily, and it'd be kind of cool to have something like that where you so, one more thing. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> how, about, how about a show of hands on who's interested in seeing something, some sort of end game where the game would reset and then a whole bunch of bases would go back to neutral, you'd still have you know, your home comments and everything. A win condition, basically. A win talking. condition. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Like, who's, who's, in who's interested in that? Yeah. <laughs> so, we actually have uh, stayed away from that because we felt that. Um, that kind of goes against the whole persistent world aspect of you know massively multiplayer game. But at the same time, I'm concerned that you know obviously it seems like a bunch of people think that might be cool. And when I play, it's always like, okay, what's for me? I'm a very goal-driven player. You know, what's what? What am I trying to do here? I'm trying to capture all the bases, capture you know, whatever content type. Let's do it. Come on, guys. So having a, a game that goes over a whole bunch of days or weeks or you know a month or something. And then there's finally an end game, and then it starts over. To me, it's appealing, but obviously, I want to make sure that you guys think it's appealing because it doesn't really matter what I think. So. When you uh, when you added the ability to have multiple characters on different uh, sides, I think you actually help that with you know because if I'm against Steam, we lose. I hate the Venu, no offense, Venu. I'll make a TR. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's not like if the Venu or the TR or the NC get kicked out, you're not going to play. You're, you're not done. You can keep playing and fighting and killing those you hate. <laughs> Actually, the, uh, the idea that we had bounced around uh, for, for an Indian game would have, so far, were along the lines of when one side loses, then we determine which side is farthest ahead. So there'd be, you know, when one side's eliminated, then basically we stop the game. But you're right, since we have, you know, since you can have two empires per server, uh, we could say, okay, well, the NC have been eliminated. Sorry, NC. <laughs> 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 we've got a brand new TR to fight it out.